Hi, everyone. I'm Luther Hughes. My pronouns are they, them, and I am a program co-director here at Artist Trust. I am a Black person with Black glasses, a bald head, and a fuzzy bluish sweater. I'm also a poet and editor born and raised in Seattle. And I'm Lydia Boss. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm also a program co-director with Luther here at Artist Trust. I am a light-skinned female wearing a black shirt sitting in a brightly lit room, and I have shoulder-length auburn hair. Um, I'm also a visual artist, and we are here to walk you through some helpful tips when applying for Artist Trust's Artist Arts Innovator Awards. Let's get started. So the Arts Innovator Awards, otherwise known as AIA, recognize artists who demonstrate innovation in their art practice. This unrestricted award of $25,000 is given annually to two artists living in Washington State practicing any discipline who are the originators of their own work, experimenting with new ideas, taking risks, and pushing the boundaries of their field. There will be eight award finalists selected by the panel, and all eight finalists will be officially recognized as a cohort and will be compensated for their involvement in the, in the uh, AIA finalist process. This includes participating in the finalist interview and a subsequent prep meeting with other AIA finalists and AT program staff. All finalists will still be eligible for other Artist Trust Awards in the same calendar year. So the panel selects the recipients based on the following criteria. Artistic excellence and innovation within applicants' field or medium. Advancement of the artist's practice. Artist's continued dedication and exploration of new work. And the background and experience of the artist. All applications are reviewed by one panel consisting of different different artists from different uh, disciplines, five artists with expertise in a range of disciplines, like I just said. They review all eligible applications online through Submittable and meet over three days on, on Zoom to discuss top scored applicants, interview eight finalists and nominate two recipients. Panelists are encouraged to review applications through a lens of racial equity and are encouraged to highlight a range of disciplines and practices, as well as discuss marginalized identities within BIPOC communities. Panelists will be confidential until the award announcement in early June. So there are several different application components that make up a complete application for the Arts Innovator Award, and we're going to provide you with some helpful tips for each. Uh, I know that this can look like a lot, but if you approach them one by one, it will be manageable. Uh, we have the discipline statement, biography, innovation statement, work samples, artist resume, and the impact statement. And we're gonna break each of these down in the following slides. First is the discipline statement, which is 50 words or less. It describes your artistic practice. It can be as simple as I'm a poet, or it can give a more detailed explanation on your practice. You will be asked to select a disciplinary category, that is literary, media, performing, and visual. For a more detailed list of each disciplinary category, check out our guidelines as well as our grants page on our website. Next is the artist biography, and this is 150 words or less, or can be up to one and a half minutes of an audio or video recording. And your biography tells your story as an artist. It provides details about you and your work, such as where you were born or grew up, maybe your training, your career development, accomplishments, or other information that may not be found elsewhere in your application. Following that, we have the innovation statement, and this is 400 words or less, or it can be up to three minutes of a video or audio recording. And your innovation statement should describe how your work is innovative. Consider how your work is developed, um, how you experiment with new ideas, take risks, and or 
the ways that you push the boundaries of your field or discipline. Please contextualize how your work is innovative in your field. And this is really the place uh, for you to explain how your work embodies this award. You mentioned you can um, use a video or audio for your biography or for your innovation statement. So here are some guidelines for both of those if you choose to do so for either of these um, materials. So for your audio, if you choose to do so, it should be clear and easy to hear without any background noise, music or other voices, should not be edited with auto-tune, speed manipulation, um, and should not need be more work samples. For video, it should be low tech without any filters, edits, scene changes, reels, or clips. Should be a clear shot of you with nobody else in view and should not include any extra work samples in view. So your work samples are the most important part of your application. And we really encourage you to include your strongest work Make sure that your work samples are well-documented, cohesive, and follow the work sample guidelines. The total amount of work samples submitted must equal no more than 10. And please keep in mind uh, that may not equal necessarily uh, the number of files that you upload. So if you're submitting multiple file formats, you may submit no more than 10 files, one image, is equal to one minute of video, audio, and or manuscript page. Upload your work samples in the order that you'd like the panel to review them. And we would like to encourage you to include work from different bodies of work to show the scope of uh, your practice and how innovation plays out within your practice as a whole. Talk to a friend, partner, or a colleague to get input about what work samples best represent you and your artistic practice. The artist resume, which can be eight pages or less, is an overview of your arts and professional experience, accomplishments, education, and or training, and other information about your artistic career. It's sort of like a job resume, but its focus is on your art and any art-related experiences. For this, I would say use a template, find templates, and go from there. Your impact statement, which is 150 words or less, explains how this award will make a difference for you. What is this funding for? The recognition what it will do for you, for your work and your practice, and how will you use this money? So just some general tips to keep in mind while applying. Uh, please follow the guidelines. They are available on our website and they're also linked below. I really can't emphasize this enough. Uh, we also really encourage you to draft your materials on your computer or in a word processing file and then copy paste them into the application. Please don't wait until the day of the deadline to start your application. Give yourself at least a full week before the deadline uh, to, to work on your materials. Um, again, can't really emphasize that enough. Some uh, Have someone review your application before submitting someone that you trust, a colleague or a studio mate. Um, be clear and concise in how you speak about your work in your application, and really be sure to focus on innovation as the key theme and key topic um, within your application. Work samples are, again, the most important part of your application. And finally, don't assume that the panelists know about your work, kind of going back to that clear and concise recommendation, um, introduce yourself and speak plainly about um, the work that you make. So you can contact us. Like Lydia said, don't just start your application, start early so that we give us some time to change things, edit things, how you see fit. If you need support, reach out to us. We are here to help you the best we can. On the next couple of slides, you're gonna see how we can support you through various programs and some dates to look out for. And thanks for watching and good luck.